what we have here is a 2018 Ford F550 with a custom emergency service unit body on it. The front of the vehicle has Whalen M2 series lights on the grill and side fender. It has a Freedom light bar on the cab roof. We have Whalen M6s on the side of the body. What you'll notice on this side, on the top of the body we have, is a Dometic electric awning. And then we have Whalen 500 series TR6s that are wired for either white or red seam. We have two Cosmol auto ejects. One is for the battery charger and one 30 amp that is for the heating and air conditioning unit that takes care of the back two compartments on this. On the back, we have Whalen M6 warning lights. And then we also have a ROM roll-up door with a custom push-button combo lock for secure weapon storage. And on this side, we also have Whalen M6 warning lights. Taking a look at the passenger side of the vehicle, you can see the slide master slide out tray. That's a dual direction slide that will allow for them to pull out their ballistic shield. And then we have the other side access for their tent and other long equipment. <clears throat> you can see the long weapon storage case. And then what you also can see here is we've installed steps here and then we've installed handrails that will help the users get up into that compartment and safely pull down the equipment. In the passenger number two compartment, you'll see we have adjustable shelves. And then with the wheel well, we have another step that's installed to help them to get up into the compartment. The passenger side number three compartment has a pull-out tray for entry tools along with other adjustable shelves and we've also installed a step to help them get access up into the upper compartments for the long case storage. Looking at the back of the vehicle we have adjustable track system that's been designed to accommodate different style rifles. We have a chute for other long equipment storage. And then behind this door, we have <coughs> pike pole storage and other secure storage for other different tools. And then the other side of this has additional adjustable storage for different rifles. The doors on this unit are electronic locking that are tied into the factory door locks so they unlock and lock with the key fob. So we've extended the Dometic awning. Now this is an electric remote controlled awning. You can see how far back it extends to provide with any coverage that they may need at trainings or an incident. Then you can see underneath the awnings we've had red and white LEDs installed, they're on separate switches, we just have them both on for demonstration purposes right now. In this driver's side front compartment, we have a slide master, 70% extension dual direction slide. This is for their multi-unit shield. And then on the top shelf, they have storage for tents and other equipment. And then down below, they have storage for other miscellaneous equipment. This driver side at number three compartment has two adjustable shelves, charging for portable and different hand tools. This also has the controls for the light tower that they have installed on this unit that we'll demonstrate momentarily. Now we've put up the command light shadow light tower with four FRC Spectras on it. This is an all LED light tower that is 12 volt operated. 
requires no generator in order to use this unit. This unit has a front cover built into it to help protect it when they're driving around. This is a custom console built into it. This has a switch panel for the scene lights, warning lights, backup alarm kilt. It also has cutouts for the radio, the siren controller, open compartment lights, high idle indicate. It also has the controller for the hose line, air conditioning and heating unit, the inverter, and it also gives them cup holders and some adjustable storage at the back. In the back of this vehicle, we've removed the rear seat installed storage for their Streamlight portable scene lights along with additional storage 110 outlet for charging equipment and then we have the electrical compartment on this side that houses the charger and the equipment for the hose line system and also the inverter and then on this side we just have open storage that they can put whatever equipment they want along with another 110 outlet inside of it